Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about what else you should know before you decide to major in computer engineering. So let's get started. So I did make a previous video about what you should know before you decide to major in computer engineering, um, whether you're still in high school or you decided you wanted to go back to college. If you wanna view that video, you can always click up here to the top right. But if you already watched it or you just wanna you know, continue on with this video, then feel free to do so. In this video, I'm gonna go over some additional things that you should probably think about and uh, just keep in mind before you decide to major in engineering. The first thing you want to know before you major in computer engineering is how much are you willing to study? What I mean by that is you're going to be going through some rigorous courses and a lot of math courses, a lot of problem solving, and you have to really understand the equation or the formula, whatever it is that you're learning at the time. And you also have to understand how like the problems are written in order to apply that particular equation to that problem. You'll also need to understand um, how everything works together because you may be asked conceptual questions. It's a huge learning curve and that takes a lot of time. Are you willing to put in four to eight hours of studying um, a week or a night, you know, even uh, just to you know, do the work or do the homework. Maybe it'll be easier because you will understand the fundamental concepts, but as you progress through the courses and through the years, the courses just build on each other. So you'll constantly be learning new things and having to study for all of that new information. So it's just up to you. How much time are you willing to study? For me personally, I had to spend at least three or four hours every night just to understand the material and to do the homework at least part of the homework um, so it was just a lot of work a lot of studying and especially over the weekends i spent any free time that i had uh, working or studying uh, so that's just something you need to keep in mind is that if you decide to major in this degree that you will not have a lot of free time um, it'll be just a lot of school sleep uh, maybe work if you if you have a job, a part-time job. I would not suggest getting a full-time job at all. Part-time job, definitely, but a full-time job, it, it's you could manage, but you'd be very strung out um, and stressed, and it wouldn't be a fun experience. Uh, so that's up to you. It's just, I'm not trying to scare you away. It's just something that you need to keep in mind that uh, it's not going to be easy, and you'll be spending a lot of time studying. The next thing is, are you willing to try? <laughs> I mean, this is a pretty basic question, and it's like, okay, well, yeah, of course, otherwise I wouldn't be majoring in this degree. Well, honestly, a, a lot of people think that, you know, computer engineering is a great path for them because they do like math and they do like, you know, calculating and all of that. Uh, but when it comes to college and they decide to major in engineering, um, they end up not liking it and they end up switching out. And a lot of the times it's because the material that they're learning, they don't understand. It's just too difficult or it's not too difficult, but they just don't understand it and they're not willing to actually understand it. Another way I could put it is if you are willing to go through the pain of trying to learn something new, then you'll be okay and you'll major in engineering just fine. Um, but if you're not willing to go through that pain and that you know lack of uh, confidence and feeling like you're really dumb or you're feeling uh, very low about yourself, low self-esteem, you feel like that you need to know this or that if you don't understand this, you're going to fail, all of those emotions can get to the student very easily and it can really cause them to to drop out or to leave because it's just overwhelming and um, if you're willing to you know push through those emotions and realize that if you just give yourself enough time or you think about the problem in the right way for you you'll be able to understand the material or if you ask the right questions to the professor spend as much time as you want with the professor or the TA that way you'll be able to understand the material and know what you're doing instead of just going through classes and not figuring out what what's going on and then the exams come around and you don't know how to answer it or what to do and you end up failing or you drop out even before the exam because you don't think that you'll do well and you'd rather get uh, no credit than uh, F. So honestly, it's, it's that question, that fundamental question, um, are you willing to try? So the next question is, are you willing to get an internship? And the reason why I say this is because, yes, you are learning a lot about engineering and you're learning, you know, Calc 1, 2, 3, you're learning um, probability, you're learning discrete structures and, uh, you know, everything like that. But 
you are still a student and you're not exposed to the actual work life environment. So that's where it's like you, you understand and you're learning the material, but you don't actually learn the material because you haven't applied it to real life scenarios or work. That's where an internship is great and I think you should get an internship. Now this is optional. Um, you don't have to get an internship. The reason why I just say like, are you willing to is because if you have an internship, you're that much more likely to get a full time position right out of college with a bachelor's degree because it shows that you have first hand experience on what to do and how to problem solve. So you can only learn so much in, in college. Uh, you can learn all the material, you can learn all the formulas, but it really doesn't help you when it comes to real life experience and having to uh, problem solve that way because there are other factors that you don't take into account in college like your co-workers or um, other problems that go on um, people that you have to work with to get a certain problem solved all of the bureaucracy and everything that's part of a company and you also have to deal with um if something were to go wrong, how would you fix that? Because you have to present this information to a group of people or to your team. And it's like, well, how would you be able to get around that? And those are all just little behavioral things as well as technical things, but also it's just the overall part of being an engineer. And if you don't show that you've had any sort of internship experience, the employer is going to be less likely to hire you because they're like, okay, well, yeah, they did well in these classes, but do they really know what it's like to work at a place to actually work as an engineer. So um, if you are willing to get an internship, then definitely do that if you decide to major in computer engineering. So the next question you should ask yourself is, are you willing to sit in front of a computer eight hours a day? The reason why it's something you should ask yourself is because that's exactly what you'll be doing as a computer engineer. Um, yes, if you are working with hardware, you may not be in front of a computer, but you'll still be sitting down for eight, nine, 10 hours a day working on a little board. So you'd be hunched over as well, probably be even worse than looking at, com at a computer. But you know, then again, I'm kind of biased. I like, I like software more than hardware. So um, anything that I could do to not be around hardware, I will do it. Uh, but if you are someone who doesn't like sitting down and you need to get up, you need to move around and you need to be outside, you know, or you need to uh, go and do other things or talk to people. Yeah, that's a good one. If you are someone who's very social and you like to talk to others, then I would suggest avoiding the computer engineering degree. Um, unless if you find a job where you're working in a team and you have to talk to that team um, every day and you have to, um, in order to make progress, you have to work with others. Uh, but otherwise, I would not major in computer engineering um, because you'll be doing a lot of work on the computer and everything you do will just be, you know, FaceTime with the computer. You won't have any FaceTime with other people, really. If you're willing to sit down for hours at a time just by yourself, then you should definitely major in computer engineering because that'll be perfect for you. The last thing is, do you like to constantly learn new things? But by new things, I mean technical things. Uh, you are always going to be learning different things about the computer. Uh, if there's an issue with the software, what is going on with that? What is going on with the program? You're always going to have to learn why did this break? Why is it not working? Why is it not running? Even with hardware, you have to figure out, okay, well, why isn't this part working on the board? Or why isn't it communicating with the computer? Why isn't the uh, program from the computer actually programming the board. Uh, so all of that is just all problems that you need to figure out and solve. And it's a constant process because there's always software upgrades, computer changes, hardware changes. It's a constant process where you'll always be learning new things and figuring out what is going on and fixing that. And once you fix it, you know, maybe a couple months down the road, uh, someone decides to change something in the hardware or in the computer. And then you have to go back to your program or software and fix that to match that hardware because it's just not working all of a sudden, but you have to figure out why. And even if you do fix it, say for example, you had a software project and you had to create a particular program or develop a program to, uh, you know, output uh, visual analytics for the users. Uh, and you were able to do that. Well, those users may 
have different requirements later on or they may want to change their their mind about certain things they may say hey I actually want this instead or I don't want that so you have to go back and change those things and you have to figure out okay well how do I change it how do I modify it and say for example that the user is happy with it there's no complaints and you don't have to touch that software anymore well you'll just start a new project and you have to figure out okay how do I develop this new software how do I create this new hardware so yeah if you decide to major in computer engineering your job as a computer computer engineer will always be learning every day will be probably something new or some problem that you have to solve um, but if you're willing to go through the technical work of it then you should definitely major in computer engineering so those are all the things that you should ask yourself before majoring in computer engineering and if you guys found this video helpful and useful then please give it a like and if you would like to see more then please subscribe but yeah I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching bye